Well, hello kids. Thanks for spending a little time here. This today we have a nice book for you. It's called Apartment 3 with uh, it features Ben and his little brother Sam and they hear some music coming and they investigate where the music is coming from. And they go to all the various different apartments and they finally find the, where the music is from and it's a very nice story. And let's, let's get on it right now. Apartment 3 by Ezra Jack Keats. This is Apartment 3. Ezra Jack Keats, Apartment 3. The rain fell steadily. It beat against the windows, softening the sounds of the city. As Sam gazed out, he heard someone in the building playing a harmonica. It filled him with sad and lonely feelings, like the rain outside. He had heard that music before. Each time it was different. Who's that playing, Sam would ask. Sam wondered. Sam went into the hall and listened. No music. His little brother, Ben, tagged along. Sam listened at the door across the hall. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crackle, crunch. Someone or something turned the knob. Out came Mr. Muntz, crunching a mouthful of potato chips. They, want, they waited until he was gone. There was one door left on the floor. Through it came smells of cigarettes and cooking. A family was arguing, but no music. They walked down to the floor below. A dog was barking. Real mean in apartment nine. Next door, a mother sang softly to her crying baby. At apartment seven, not a sound. Here we have, ben. this is Sam, the little brother, and here's Ben. Down another flight. The hall light was broken. At apartment six, there was a ball game on TV. It sounded like a million people were in there cheering. Apartment five, loud, juicy snoring. Ben bumped into an old, worn out mattress. That snorer's sure enjoying his new one, Sam said. Apartment 4. More yelling. Finally, the ground floor. The door of apartment 1 opened. The super, Sam whispered. They hid under the stairs. The super grumbled to himself as he left the building and slammed the door. That guy hates everyone, said Ben.
Well, that happens to be that super, but we don't have to generalize. Anyway, here we go. Here's here's Ben, here's Ben, and here's the younger brother, Sam. Apartment three was quiet. Just a container of milk outside the door. They stopped in front of apartment two, Betsy's door. Sam thought, maybe she'll come out and I'll say hello to her. He decided to hang around. Let's rest a little, he said. They sat on the steps. But no Betsy. And no music. Come on, let's go home, said Ben. As they turned to go upstairs, Sam noticed that the container of milk was gone. He went over to take a good look. The door was open a little. He peeked in. Well, a sharp voice startled Sam. We didn't take the milk, he blurted. But the man was shouting. Okay, noisy, have a good look. Okay, nosy, have a good look. Sam could make out a figure at a table. It was the blind man's apartment. Come in, you two. What's the matter, scared? They were so, they were so scared, they went in, they went in. There's the milk, Sam shouted. We didn't take it. Who said you did? Snapped the man. I brought it in myself. Stop shaking, kids. Shut the door and sit down. Sam shut the door and sat down. How'd you, how'd you know we're kids? Asked Ben. I know about you boys. You live upstairs, said the man. I know something else about you, Sam. What? whispered Sam. You like the little girl across the hall. The little girl across the hall. The way you slow down when you pass her door. The real nice way you say, Hi, Betsy, and she says, Hi, Sam. Ben giggled. Sam jumped up. Who's nosy now, he yelled. I know about you too. You sit around here finding out other people's secrets. The man's face took on a faraway look. I know plenty, young fellow. I know when it rains, when it snows, what people are cooking, and what they think they're fighting about. Secrets? You want to hear some secrets? Listen. He stood up and suddenly raised his harmonica to his mouth and began to play. He played purples and grays and rain and smoke and the sounds of night. Sam sat quietly and listened. He felt that all the sights and sounds and colors from outside had come into the room 
and were floating around. He floated with them. Ben's eyes were closed, and he was smiling. After a while, Sam turned to the man and said, Would you like to take a walk with us tomorrow? The music became so soft and quiet that they could barely hear it. Then the dark room filled with wild, noisy, happy music. It bounced from wall to wall. Sam and Ben looked at each other. They couldn't wait for tomorrow. Apartment 3 by Ezra Jack Keats. Let's see if something about it. The rain fell steadily. It beat against the windows, softening the sounds of the city. As Sam gazed out, he heard someone in the building playing a harmonica. Who's that playing? Sam wondered. Sam and his little brother Ben went to find the mysterious music maker. But following the sound is difficult in their noisy apartment building. Mr. Muntz across the hall is crunching on potato chips. A dog is barking in apartment 9. A loud TV is playing in apartment 6. And someone is snoring in apartment 5. With only one apartment, with only one apartment left to check. The quiet apartment 3. The boys discover the secret behind the mu music. And find an, inter an interesting new friend. The subtle colors of Keats' paintings and his restrained use of detail to establish atmosphere make apartment three a pleasure to look at Saturday review that's a nice review very nice review let's find out about Jack Ezra Keats Ezra Jack Keats Ezra Jack Keats 1916 to 1983 Ezra Jack Keats 1916 to 1983, grew up in Brooklyn and spent most of his life in New York City. His many award-winning books include The Snowy Day, a Caldecott, a Caldecott Winner Award, and Goggles, a Caldecott Honor Book. Mr. Keats was a major fundraiser for UNICEF and a participant in the 1971 White House Conference for Children. The Ezra Jack Keats Award is given annually in his honor to the most promising new author and illustrator of the year. Jacket illustration can be copyright Ezra Jack Keats, 1971. So this is a, the beautiful book, Apartment 3, by Ezra Jack Keats. Thanks, kids. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. See you next time, guys. Take care.